Well, Mark, the local sheriff there says he and Ammon Bundy met just a couple of hours ago. The two had an open conversation about what's going on. Bundy, meanwhile, has put out a call to his followers saying the evicted family needs help. What started as a simple eviction case has grown into much more. At the center of it, the Nickerson family and their former home about three and a half miles outside of Orofino. Their saga has gone on for several years now. But long story short, the Clearwater County Sheriff says the family didn't pay their mortgage and a bank foreclosed on their land. On their website, the Nickersons claim they never defaulted and were unfairly targeted by the bank. They even made a music video about their plight. Because we'll fight all the way for a home, for a home. Yeah, we'll fight all the way. But the sheriff says despite a year-long redemption period where the family could have left the land, the Nickersons refused. That left his deputies to evict them and remove their belongings yesterday. And so they, they knew uh, several months back that this was that this was coming and that they needed to remove all their property. And That's since caught the attention of someone well known for facing off against the government. Because there is a family that is in need, it is in Idaho. Ammon Bundy, who County, lives in southwestern Idaho, posted this to Facebook yesterday. You'll recall that he led the 2016 armed standoff at an Oregon wildlife refuge. Online, he provided the Nickerson's address, saying the family, quote, needs our help. Today, Bundy arrived in Orofino, met with the family, and toured their land. We really are just doing our best to get the documents, the evidence, so that we can determine what is really happening. Bundy says the family told him their bank tried to double bill them. He then met with the Clearwater County Sheriff this afternoon, who tells me the two had a civil conversation about the matter. After talking for about an hour, the sheriff says he left an open door. For now, the sheriff says no other supporters have showed up en masse, and Bundy indicated that he's working with the family and personally know, investigating the eviction. Fool. And maybe... Uh, I'll be looking like a fool at the end of all this, but I don't think so. I think that there is something seriously wrong. During yesterday's eviction, the sheriff's office says they were forced to break into the Nickerson's home to remove a woman who had barricaded herself inside. She's since bonded out of jail. In the studio, Taylor Vido, Cram 2 News.